Hey there, today we're gonna to be talking about why you need a high quality brand portrait for your online business. Let's get started. Okay, before I dive into the five reasons why you need to have a high quality brand portrait for your business, I just wanna let you know that when I say a high quality brand portrait, I don't necessarily mean that you have to go out and hire a brand photographer for that. You guys know I'm all about the DIY. So I wouldn't be sharing this with you if I didn't think this was something that you could capture all on your own. And of course, you know that I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that through various opportunities like courses, workshops, programs, and even these YouTube videos. So keep that in mind as I'm going through the five reasons why you need to have a high quality brand portrait for your online business. Reason number one, is it communicates a high level of professionalism. So I can't tell you how many times that I have gone to a website looking to hire someone for a service, maybe a copywriter, maybe someone to run some Facebook ads for me or something like that. And when I hop onto their website, no matter how great the website looks, if I click over to their about me and their image of themselves is like something that clearly took themselves with their smartphone selfie style, I instantly get the sense that maybe they're not super professional and I'm not quite sure I want to invest dollars into them if they won't invest money in themselves in terms of, you know, actually getting a professional brand for portrait made. It's really, really important to present yourself professionally online. And if you aren't doing that through a simple thing, like a photo of yourself on your website, then you are going to be losing out on opportunities. The thing is, is that when people land on your website, that's really their first impression of you. And if the first impression they get of you is a poor quality, poor lighting, obviously taken quickly with your smartphone selfie style, <laughs> that is not going to instill a great deal of trust in me or in the viewer that you're going to be able to deliver on the thing that you say you're going to deliver. So it is so, so important that you are representing yourself in a high quality, professional way, because that is going to help you do so many more things, which we're about to talk about. So reason number two, it allows you to command higher prices. You can actually raise your prices when you have that professional presentation online. So if you present yourself as a professional, if you clearly invest in yourself and in your business, then people are going to trust that you are more likely to deliver the high quality services that you say you're capable of or high quality products if you're a product maker, that is going to allow you to raise those prices. So if I were to go to somebody's website who didn't have a professional looking brand portrait, I'm going to question whether I wanna invest in them at all, but certainly if their pricing is a high, higher quality pricing, which I think is great, I think people should always be charging what they are worth and what their services are worth, but it's difficult to get that kind of pricing, no matter how good your services are, if your photo is just poor quality because people are just getting the instant impression like, why am I gonna invest thousands of dollars in you and in your service if you won't invest a few hundred bucks to get a professional headshot? Like, you know, people think that way when they go to your website. So, so, so important that you are considering that when it comes to your brand portraiture. Here's another thing, if your portrait is like 50 years old, it's time to update that thing, my friends. And look, I am also guilty of it. I totally get it. I have some great brand photos of me from two and a half years ago that I love, that I still use, but I still refresh them throughout the time. I might still use those from time to time, but I'm continuing to update and refresh photos of myself. And I highly encourage you to do the same. Reason number three, it allows you to connect better with your ideal customers. So you do need to show up with your face online. I know that it's difficult for some people, it's uncomfortable for some people. A lot of the product makers that I work with are uncomfortable showing their face, they really just wanna show their products and I totally understand that feeling and I'm sure there's many service providers out there who feel the same way, but you are truly the face of your business. Whether you are a course creator or an online service provider or even a locally based service provider, you are your brand. 
if you're a product maker, you're your brand. There are so many reasons why people want to know and see you personally, because people are buying from you. They are buying from you because they trust you. They trust that you're going to deliver on the things that you're going to say. And if they can't see your face, you're going to be a faceless brand. And that is a very difficult thing to invest in unless you're like Starbucks or Coca-Cola, which you're probably not. So <laughs> go ahead and get the great brand photo. Let people see your beautiful smiling face. It instantly creates such a stronger connection. And if that photo is high quality and professional, you're going to connect on a deeper and more meaningful level because people won't be distracted by, this is kind of a crappy photo. Okay, so go ahead and make the effort, totally worth it. Reason number four, along those same lines, a high quality professional looking brand portrait is going to help you convert people better. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what the term convert means, that means convert to a sale. Whether you're selling a course or you're selling a service or you're selling a product, that convert means that you have turned somebody who is following you or who just happens upon you online, you convert them into a customer or a client. So you are able to convert people more when you have that professional looking photo of yourself online for the reasons I've already covered, including you are more professional, you connect better with people. And as I mentioned in the beginning, if somebody goes to a website and they see a low quality brand portrait or one that is clearly very, very outdated, they are going to not feel as comfortable making that investment and you won't get that conversion. Whereas if somebody goes to your website, they see a fresh photo, modern, up-to-date, great lighting, super crisp and clear, high quality, you look fantastic, they're gonna be a lot more likely to actually hit that buy now button, right? So it actually will help your conversion rate. You will be able to convert more clients, more customers. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. We all want to provide our product, whether it be a physical product or a digital product, we all want to give that thing that we've created to the people, to our ideal customers. We don't make them just for fun. We make them because we believe in them, because we love them, because we know that they can help people or bring people joy. So converting to a sale is our ultimate goal as online business owners. And if you don't have the fresh, up-to-date brand portrait, you're going to be losing out on those opportunities and those sales. And last but not least, number five, you are going to be missing out on valuable opportunities. So there are opportunities online like being featured by an influencer, by being featured by a blogger or publication, being asked to be on somebody's podcast or asked to be a speaker at an event. There are so many opportunities that can mean big, big growth for your business. But along the same lines as converting someone to a sale, if somebody is interested in featuring you in that way and they don't see that level of professionalism and that you don't even have a high quality brand portrait, you will be losing out on these opportunities that can be huge breakthroughs. And that is one of the big, big reasons I want you to take away from this is that those opportunities aren't necessarily knocking at your door every day. So you might not always be thinking of them. They might not always be in the forefront of your mind, but you don't want to lose out on those opportunities that could be passing you by without you even knowing it because somebody goes to your website, they've heard about you somewhere in a Facebook group or they saw you on Etsy or wherever and they go through to your website and they want to learn more or whatever and they look for the photo of you, they want to see what you're all about and then they just see this low quality, low grade, poorly lit photo of you and they instantly think, you know what, maybe they're not quite a great fit for my podcast audience or my event or my blog or whatever. Those are the opportunities you could be missing out on that you're not even aware of. Okay, so those are five incredible reasons why you should have great high quality, beautiful brand portraits for your website, for your Etsy shop, for your Instagram, for all of that stuff, your LinkedIn, very, very important. Now. Further to that, one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you all about this today is because I am hosting an online workshop called Shine, the DIY brand portrait workshop for online entrepreneurs. You could be a maker, you could be a course creator, a service provider. Truthfully, you don't even have to actually be an online entrepreneur. If you, your husband wants to update his LinkedIn profile, this can work for him as well. So what it's going to be is on April 13th, I'm gonna be releasing a brand new video for my workshop participants that's going to actually walk you through the steps of taking a very simple 
but high quality and beautiful brand portrait at home. You don't even have to leave your home to do this. You don't need fancy equipment. You can use a smartphone. You can use a window. If you have a ring light, that's kind of a bonus. You don't need one. Uh, same with the DSLR. No fancy equipment required, but it will help you update and refresh and take some of these high quality, professional looking brand portraits that I'm talking about to really update your look, help you convert more clients and customers, help you land some of these big opportunities, raise your prices and do all of these wonderful things. I know a lot of you are stuck at home right now with the COVID-19 crisis. I am stuck at home as well. And I figure let's make the best of it, friends. Let's create something beautiful together. Let's get together, refresh our brand portraits. I'm gonna help you walk you through it each step of the way. There's also gonna be a five-day pop-up Facebook group in which I'm going to be doing three Facebook Lives to answer your questions, to give you feedback on your photos, to make sure that you are actually able to achieve those photos that you want. And it's gonna be huge because at the end, you are going to have some great brand portraits for your website, your LinkedIn, your Etsy shop, your Instagram, wherever it is that you want to share them and use them. There's gonna really help you up level the professional look of your business online, which can spell huge opportunity for you. And I'm really, really excited to help you get there. So the link to that is in the profile. It's amytakespictures.com slash shine. Really looking forward to seeing you there. Go ahead and get signed up and I'll see you in the Facebook group. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you get a notification every time I release a new video and I'll see you next week. Thank you.